Okay. <laughs> All right. Can engineer save the earth? I always liked doing hands-on uh, activities when I was younger, and um, I had an interest in cars uh, since I kind of started learning how to drive. Whenever I was walking around as a kid, I'd always see different things, whether it be elevators or other things we use every day. I was always fascinated with how they work. I was always playing with things in my wood shop at home and trying to make things fit together and even taking things apart to determine why they were built in a specific way. I love puzzles. <laughs> worked on puzzles when I was younger and whenever there was a problem with anything I just tried to get my hands on it. I was always curious on how it worked. My father is an engineer, mechanical. My grandfather is a biomedical engineer. He taught here at Dal actually. And he took me to um, take your kid to work day in grade nine and I got to see what he did and it was really inspiring and I chose to pursue engineering because I really look up to my dad. He's a role model for me. They are often faced with some sort of challenge, whether that be something that everyday people are facing, a company's facing, and we're often the ones tasked with solving that. You could design something that's super useful and super amazing, but then when someone goes to implement that, it might not actually work out how you thought it would. They serve a lot of roles, mostly to do with keeping everyone safe, ideally. Engineers are, I feel like they're always here to make an impact and like take stuff to the next level. It might be improving what already exists or inventing something new. <laughs> save, save the planet, huh? <laughs> save the people. Um, but the idea of solving a problem is an engineering skill. You need to isolate your thoughts from what currently exists and like look from a different perspective, a whole new perspective if possible. Why did it fail? What can we improve? Everything around us that we have today was a problem that was just solved by someone. Even in the city in Halifax, the, the McDonald and McKay Bridge was an engineering problem. People didn't want to travel all around the Bedford Basin. So let's just build a bridge across. It supports thousands of people commuting every day. Obviously, it was a very good design. I mean, in your phone, all these microchips and everything is their tools made with the finest microscopic details. Keep things simple. Uh, the number of times I've seen something that has been overcomplicated and as a result fails much more often is too many to count. And whenever I'm designing things, I try to keep them as simple as possible while still getting the job done in the capacity that I'm expecting. AI is a very interesting topic. I think it will accelerate things. I think it will be very accurate. And it's definitely a tool nobody should ignore. It is very rapidly developing. Computer-aided design is, is a big one for, for myself and most mechanical engineers. Being able to visualize stuff in 3D space before you actually make it is a, is a great advantage. I think you're always going to need that human component because an AI just isn't going to be as flexible. You have to think about all the people that you're affecting and the lives that you're affecting and different aspects that AI just can't hit. The pace that it's developing and the tasks that it's achieving are very high level and something that I didn't see coming. Cars have been the same for a while um, in that you start with four wheels and you want to design to go so fast, but optimizing those parameters or working out several different scenarios is much easier now than it was in the past where you might have to do all those calculations by hand. Uh, now you can, uh, you can type the equations into a program and then uh, give that a bunch of data and then you would output um, your results for, for several different um, scenarios. There's a lot of upsides to creating all, all new electric cars from scratch, but for a lot of the general public, those expensive fast cars aren't super feasible. Perhaps there's an alternative where we're able to bring in the chassis of old cars and reuse a lot of the components and implement an electric powertrain into those cars so that we're not creating more waste in the process. I think that electric vehicles will likely last longer than we will be driving. Climate change is a known problem as of right now, and Knowing that and preparing for it and trying to stop it before it gets worse is really important. Electricity, as long as we're obtaining it from renewable resources, as such as tidal energy, wind energy, solar energy, and that way we can start phasing out our fossil fuel consumption. The way we get the electricity to charge these cars in Nova Scotia, it's approximately 80% of the electricity is coming from fossil fuels and coal. So 
on the forefront, it looks like a very good opportunity, but we have to investigate and make sure you have all the knowledge. Drive is important for project. It's even more important, I would say, to direct that drive. Engineers alone can't save the planet. There needs to be decision makers, there needs to be policy makers, technology that is designed to be used in a certain way. Um, it's a whole effort. I think it'll take a lot more than engineers, but I think engineers are definitely going to play a huge part in it. Like, just think about all of the different types of ways that we can harness energy from the earth that doesn't produce any carbon. If everyone were engineers, it wouldn't work. Everyone has to play their roles. Engineers are just another piece in the puzzle. We need everybody to save the earth, and, but when it comes to solutions, engineers could probably help you with that. But fundamentally, we're always just working to change people's lives for the better. I worked on this. I have a whole team with me, and we did this together. Beginning this design process, working through, and then actually making the part, and being able to see it all come together is very rewarding. That's what makes a team like this really interesting. Like Everyone feels a little more love to a specific part of the project. Uh, their interests are different, but we have the same goal, so we try to help each other get there. Theory is staying the same, but the way that we, which we can optimize our solutions is changing. So engineers can save the planet with help of others.